What's up, beautiful people? Check out this view. I am in the middle of around about a 40 something hour journey, but I was really dreading my 13 hour layover in China, but China Southern Airlines randomly decided that we get a free hotel if we stay overnight. So I had this beautiful big hotel room. It's even like a, basically like a suite. And I just got about five hours sleep, so feels good around here. breakfast as well. Fried noodles, fried eggs, chilled meats, spring rolls, and I couldn't decide which juices, so orange juice, blueberry juice, and strawberry juice. And I have about two minutes to eat these before the bus is meant to leave, so. I gotta be quick. None of them, none of the juices were that great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I am about probably halfway through this 40 something hour journey and I thought I'd, I'd make a video bringing together the trip a little bit. I know yesterday I spoke about the varied nature of the trip and how we'd gone from the fantastic beaches of Palawan and how it was great to explore North Luzon and the rice terraces and the mountain provinces and how awesome the diving was as well. So I don't necessarily need to go through the whole trip in that way. And on the last series, my final vlog, I spoke a lot about the the things I loved about the Philippines and the things that I found myself challenged with as I traveled it. And I think they've largely stayed the same, those things that I thought. I wanted to take this time right now just to quickly speak about something else that I find quite hard while um, vlogging in the Philippines. And this is by no means a bad thing. In fact, it's really good. It's basically, I feel that if you've watched the, the other video or if you've watched any of these videos, you know one of the main reasons that I love I absolutely love the Philippines is because the people there are so friendly, so kind, and 95, 99% of the time, they go out of their way to help you with no expectation of anything in return, but just they want to help you sort whatever you're doing out. And I absolutely love that mentality. I love the hospitality, it's absolutely great. And I think this trip, I've seen that even more with the meetups that I've held and the, the new friends and the new connections that we've made and sort of like this new Filipino family that I've discovered even more. It's been absolutely incredible. 
But the thing that I struggle with most is while vlogging, I find it very hard to show the true extent of the kindness and the helpfulness and the happiness of the local people around me when I'm traveling in the Philippines. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing because you have a lot of true interactions that are just very everyday, very small, but very significant. And it wouldn't necessarily feel right to just suddenly start putting a camera up or slamming it in someone's face or putting it up and trying to explain. Sometimes you have to keep those moments as little pockets of joy for yourself. And I think that that's really important with these vlogs is that there's times when you're not worried about getting the camera out and trying to capture everything. And I think that's super important. But I do also feel like when, when I'm vlogging, I want to show the true beauty and the, the true nature of a country. And I think with the Philippines, that probably is the biggest, most beautiful aspect of it is the, the people that are there and the friendliness. And I think I show that in these videos, but I'm not sure that I quite managed to show the extent of it. It really, really is the case that the people are just what make the country. And I really, I hope that that comes across in these videos, but I do struggle to think that I get it coming across to the, to the extent that it actually is the case. And I just wanted to say, Thank you so much to everyone who's helped me on my travels, everyone who's shown me such great hospitality. And although I struggle with that because I want to show it, it's by no means a bad thing. It's, if anything, it's the most positive thing that I can say, really. So thank you so much to everyone who's helped me, everyone who's stopped on the street. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. UK soil. We even landed like half an hour early, but my coach is still going to be at the same time, so I still have to wait like two and a half hours for that. That's one of the reasons why I always like flying from my hometown, Birmingham, rather than London, but it was just so much cheaper to fly to and from London for this trip, but I have to do it. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get on an earlier coach somehow. Hey, uh, I was just wondering, um, I've got this bus for later. Is it possible to get an earlier one? My flight was just early. Thank you very much. I think you've missed it, but I just want to check. The thing is, you can go to other terminal, and then again, if you do your charge, you, you'll get charged for changing your ticket. So you're looking for the 212 at 5.40 departure. It's just outside this point. Oh, stop here. Cool. Well, thanks for looking yeah, anyway. No Cheers. Worries. See ya. Well, I tried, but time to wait for a couple and a half hours. Okay, tomorrow is Thank tomorrow. you. Yeah. Cheeky couple of hours worth. 
working in Costa. Hey! Yo. Thank you. See you later. See ya, thank you very much. since I left the hostel in Manila, but thank God for that hotel in China. That really, really helped today feel a lot better, I think. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as you enjoyed the first season because I have absolutely loved making the videos, had an incredible time in the Philippines as I expected, but I'm super tired right now and I need to sort a few things out and get into bed. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Do let me know if you've enjoyed it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Catch you all very soon. Big love. It feels good around here.